So hello YouTube, my name is Vlad and what they have in front of me is a GPU that finally arrived Amazon Prime. However, uh, I ordered 12, 11 of those got stolen. True story. Now believe it or not, I actually recorded this video before. Well, not with this card, with the other card. <coughs> I borrowed for test. But uh, I forgot to press record. Seriously, I ended up talking to myself for about 30 minutes. Not very fun thing to do. Well, it was fun at the moment, but anyway, let's open it. So if you're in Croatia and you're buying over Slovenia, do not. They stole about five shipments already in Maribor. So yeah. Bloody thieves. So yeah, this one was around... Uh, $150 I believe and the uh, awesome thing about this card is well it is the overclock edition whatever that means it has uh, well two fans let's take a look this is uh, standard bullshit the best hits in cover the best fans ever powerful sophisticated whatnot basically the uh, entire the same bullshit you get on every card seriously it is the same bloody chip so okay so let's open it and let's see this is the uh, thank you card from MSI. Uh, I do have some stickers which are bloody useless. And this is, uh, well, how to install your card, I believe. And these are the drivers. Lucky the dragon, seriously. Well, this card will not be so lucky when it goes into the rig. Now, <coughs> you can see that there is actually no back plate. And this card is actually quite heavy, so these fans might actually be good. Well, fans slash heatsink memory is uh, cooled. As you can see, this is the uh, thermal pads. This is actually quite strange, <coughs> I would say, solution. We have 3D++, one HDMI and one DVI digital connector. And uh, this is the protection uh, for the PCI Express. And there's just one 8-pin uh, PCI Express, which is actually neat because, well, it's not two, obviously. Uh, so, this thing has actually booted into Windows 10, and let's take a look at the device manager and let's see what do we have. Uh, Alrighty then, I think it's actually doing something. Oh, finally. Okay, display drivers, and I do I do think I have the latest yes adapter. So you know what? Let's uh, let's start the uh, miner, uh, but let's uh, and do have and here these uh, clocks and these voltages, and I won't be actually using this thing. So. Uh, So let's start the so let's start the miner just to see what's it working out of the box. Now bear in mind this is in dual mining, so let's take a look at the speed out of the box. And I will be checking to see the power consumption. So let's run notepad. Okay, so st stand by power. Um, stock. My hashes. Okay. Working. So this thing is actually at fourteen point seven uh, big hashes. So 14.7. Now bear in mind that this is in dual mining. Okay, so uh, you know what? So let's try without dual mining. Just a second, I need to edit the batch file. Before I actually edit the batch file, let's see the power consumption when, well, the machine is not doing anything. So the power consumption is around 190 watts. So 206, 210, 201, 97. Okay, let's say 200 watts. To be fair, okay. 
let's see the power consumption so this is around 340 watts 350 watts 340 351 330 let's say around 340 watts which is 140 watts that is a lot maybe even more so this is 200 plus 140 equals 340 watts okay and stock mega hashes are well around 16 mega hashes I, say, I would say 16 15.9 okay 15.9 yeah well, let's be precise 15.9 so let's download the abias and let's modify uh, the straps so I've rebooted and this thing is booting into Windows and this thing should boot okay it did and let's start the uh, Minor and let's see the power consumption when this thing starts and this is without uh, without uh, memory overclocking so let's see the power consumption whether anything has changed or not so this is straps with straps power So as you can see actually nothing changes, it's actually even less, 15.6 and it was 15.9 when it was stock, so 15.6 mega hashes. Okay, oh 16.1, oh it did change actually, 16.18, okay, it's actually, it gets better, so 16.1, but yeah, it's not... Uh, it's not, I would say, the uh, extra improvement. And let's take a look at the power consumption. So it's 200 plus. So with these traps, it actually looks as it uses less power. 310 watts. So it's 110. So the power consumption, so the power consumption is actually lower than with the original straps. Interesting. So, 308 watts. Now I will be actually modifying the batch file. So, uh, let's try and set memory clock to 2000 MHz just to see uh, the results. Well, obviously. So, I've added these settings to uh, my batch file. This one is M clock, which is memory clock, and I've set it to 2050 MHz. Uh, C clock is the uh, well the card clock and I've set that to 1070 and I've lowered the voltages a bit just to see the uh, well results and whether this thing actually uh, works better or worse and uh, the well the power consumption memory should be at 2050 and this is actually quite neat because you can that way you can actually overclock for whatever you need. So this should be around 29, maybe even 30 mega hashes. Let's see. Now we'll be making a BIOS that already has these values inserted into it. So if you're too lazy to use the batch script for uh, well tweaking and tuning and whatnot, you can you will be able to just use my BIOS. In fact, while this thing is actually starting, I will be uh, modifying the BIOS. Just and basically, the only thing that I will be doing is actually setting this thing to 2000 megahertz. Apply changes, save as, and we will be calling this one auto. The other one is well, obviously manual, right? Okay, so let's take a look at the. Uh, so this thing is actually at 16.58 now I do think know uh, what is the issue with this thing but let's take a look at the power consumption before we actually start you know, anything so the card is actually drawing 85 watts 
82-85 watts. So, now the problem with this thing is that the compute mode has not been started for these drivers, but I will be starting them uh, right now and I will be showing you how to do it. Basically the idea is uh, that you start uh, this uh, well batch file as an administrator, but there is a catch and I will be showing it to you. Um, if you start it normally it will start the miner, but if you right click it and choose run as administrator it will actually, you, will, you have to click yes, but nothing will happen. And the problem with this thing is the path. So what you need to do is just copy the path, so where your uh, Claymore Miner is located, right click copy and add it to the batch file and in the beginning of the batch file just type cd and paste the path. I don't think you need to have quotes but uh, I always uh, put them. So right if you, if you click uh, run as administrator at this time this thing will actually start and now all you have to actually do is press Y on your keyboard and it will tell you that everything is in the compute mode and actually all you have to do is reboot the computer so let's reboot the computer and let's take a look at the hash rate after uh, well after the reboot so this thing has booted into Windows and let's take a look at the uh, speed that we actually get, and I'm sorry, my endpoint antivirus, I haven't entered the, uh, well, the um, uh, serial number. I do have it at work and I got it for free, so that I can use it with the, uh, my personal computer, but I forgot to enter the, uh, well, the key itself. Now this thing is 27.5 mega hashes when in compute mode. Now bear in mind that this, this thing is actually low. This thing is actually way lower than it should be. It should be around 29. So I will be trying to flash my BIOS, the, uh, the one that's called auto and uh, auto and let's see uh, what results do we get with uh, that BIOS. So be back. Before we uh, start let's take a look at the power consumption. Yeah, it's around 310 watts. It's uh, 110 watts, sorry. So yeah, yeah fair enough. So oh, one reboot later. Let's take a look at the power consumption and the, uh, well, hash rate. So first of all, let's take a look at the power consumption. This is at 150 watts. Okay, 130 watts. Uh, let's say 140 watts, so basically it is the same, it oscillates. And let's take a look at the uh, hash rate we got. So 28, 29 mega hashes, I would say that's actually rather good. I'll try to, uh, just, let's try to use M clock uh, to uh, a bit higher. I believe it, this card can go a bit higher, but you know 29 mega hashes is actually quite okay in my book. I mean, I could probably push it up to 30, but I do not want to. This is okay. I do want stability and uh, I don't want to have any problems with uh, my rig because one mega hash. So there you have it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click thumbs up. If you did not, click thumbs down. If you are meh, well, eh, you know what to do. Anyway, have a good day and cheers. Bye.